Last month, Huawei released two Harmony OS PCs, including the first Harmony OS foldable computer, Huawei MateBook Fold Ultimate Design. With this design, we of course have to look at the appearance first. Admittedly, the MateBook Fold is not the first foldable screen computer, but if we do a horizontal comparison with other foldable devices, like the initial ThinkPad X1 Fold from Lenovo and the ZenBook 17 Fold, their keyboards use a sandwich-like structure clamped in the middle of the body. This is because their hinge structure design couldn't be made smaller, leading to a large gap when the body is folded. To make it aesthetically pleasing, they stuffed the keyboard in, which was a make-do solution. That's why the X1 Fold Gen 2 optimized the hinge design, making it a more normal foldable device. But compared to a manufacturer like Huawei, which has deep accumulation in hinge technology from its foldable phone designs, there's still a certain experience gap. Whether it's bezel control, hinge size control, or the form factor after folding, it's more in line with the quality a flagship device should have. This time, Huawei has managed to make the device's thickness only 7.3 millimeters when unfolded and 14.9 millimeters when folded. Its weight is just 1.16 kilogram. In its folded estate, it's even more compact and portable than many traditional flagship convertible laptop. The high gloss bezels on the side of the body, the silicone coated surface with its excellent touch combined with the unique forged shadow texture crafted with a forged carbon process for each machine, and the black gold waistline design at the hint. Its design language is a continuation of the other products in the Ultimate Design series. Its internal structure is not the same as a regular laptop. The laptops we're familiar with have the motherboard, cooling system, and battery all placed in the bottom system part. The cooling system usually only occupies a small portion of the body. The top part only has the screen, camera, and microphone, forming an overall shape that's thin at the top and thick at the bottom. A foldable computer by nature requires the two halves of the body to have a similar thickness. This means the space for the cooling system, both in terms of area and thickness, is very limited. It's a huge test for the overall cooling design of the machine. But Huawei on the MateBook Fold took a different path, choosing to place the motherboard in the upper half, and they managed to fit in a diamond aluminum dual fan system and a copper steel composite 3D VC cooling system. This is equivalent to using almost the entire area of a 13-inch laptop's body for cooling. The battery, with a capacity close to 75 watt-hours, is placed in the lower half of the body. For a device that's only 7.3 millimeters thick, this is critically important. Of course, the screen is the main event of this foldable computer. This 18-inch dual-layer flexible OLED screen, when unfolded, has a 3,200 by 2,472 resolution and a 90 hertz LTPO variable refresh rate. With the dual-layer OLED technology, its brightness reaches 700 nits full screen and a peak of 1600 nits. Additionally, it continues Huawei's signature 3 to 2 screen aspect ratio on its laptop. Unfolded, it becomes an 18 inch 4 by 3 large screen. Dual layer, flexible OLED, LTPO adaptive refresh rate. These screen technologies have hardly been applied in the PC industry, let alone on a foldable screen. Putting aside the powerful specs, let's look at the experience. This dual layer OLED not only has high brightness but also increases its lifespan by 3 times, and its power consumption is optimized by 30%. Watching HDR content on such a large screen screen is a very stunning experience. Just like the MateBook Pro, our tests show that whether in the gallery or during video playback, it can play HDR Vivid, HLG, and HDR10 video content. HDR videos on platforms like Bilibili are also already compatible, which deserves a special mention. In terms of HDR photo viewing, it's not just for HDR photos taken by Harmony OS phone, Ultra HDR photos from other Android devices, Hay format ISO HDR photos from iPhones, etc. can all be displayed with proper brightness. However, the current version of the AR anti-reflection coating can still look a bit purplish when viewed at an angle direct facing a light source, but it doesn't affect normal use. Such a super large foldable screen naturally brings different ways of using it. Let's first look at the folded state in the traditional laptop usage mode. The hinge can be said to be the core of all foldable screen devices. The suspended water drop hinge on the MateBook Fold requires a bit more force to open compared to traditional laptops. The official claim is that it supports a hovering angle from 30 to 150 degrees, which is actually quite conservative. Our tests show it can still maintain a hovering state at 170 degrees. In the folded state, Harmony OS's default handle is closer to an upper and lower dual screen setup. By default, it will maximize the window to either the upper or lower half of the screen. Using a five-finger outward swipe gesture, you can make the window fill the entire screen, entering waterfall screen. A three-finger swipe up or down can switch the window's position, and the experience is as smooth as flowing water. Facing different usage habits, Huawei has even prepared a more compact, narrow pitch keyboard. In general, with the vibration intensity set to the maximum, this on-screen keyboard can still provide a certain amount of feedback when typing speed isn't too fast. But if you type very fast, Fast, you might not have time to feel the feedback from the vibration motor. However, I personally feel this is currently the best feeling touchscreen keyboard. You really need to do a lot of efficient and fast text input. It's time for the Huawei Crescent Moon portable keyboard to shine. Weighing only 290 grams and being 5 millimeters thick, it has a 1.5 millimeter key travel and a force pad pressure sensitive trackpad. The keyboard magnetically attaches to the lower half of the computer screen and a prompt will automatically pop up, warning you not to press down directly. Of course, the folded state is not the correctest way to open the screen. Open the hidden stand below the 
forged carbon backplate and fully unfold this 18-inch 4x3 large screen. Only then can we truly and completely feel the shock brought by this OLED screen. On a new device, the screen crease is very slight and can basically be ignored during normal use. The 4 to 3 screen ratio is also very suitable for opening a document on the left and right for split-screen work. If you want, you can even turn the screen vertically and hold it in your hands to scroll through your feed. However, it should be noted that the current version of the OS's Easy Projection Virtual Machine only supports use in the unfolded landscape orientation. Of course, if you think an 18-inch screen is still not big enough, there's a USB Type-C port on the top of the upper half of the body and on the right side of the lower half. They both support PD charging and DP video output. At this point, you can connect it to a screen of any size you want. Currently, the apps adapted for Harmony OS PCs mainly fall into three categories. First, applications designed entirely for the desktop, such as WPS Office, Wondershare Filmora, etc. The experience of using them is already very close to other desktop systems. The second category is apps designed for tablet. Bilibili is our typical example. Using them on such a large 18-inch touchscreen is also a novel and quite good experience. The sideswipe to go back feature from mobile devices has also been inherited. The third category is apps designed for phones. The develop once deploy on multiple devices characteristic of Huawei's operating system blurs the boundaries that originally existed between computers, tablets, and phones, allowing us to use some apps on the computer that have incomplete web versions or don't even offer a web version at all. And for those developers who don't have the resources to develop a separate version for the PC, it also saves on development costs. Open the lid for instant wake. Apps open in a second. The silky smooth basic user experience of the Harmony OS system is probably no surprise to anyone by now. Next, of course, we need to put it under some stress. Since it's equipped with the same core configuration, let's compare its performance with the 32 gigabytes plus 2 terabytes version of the Matebook Pro. In CapCut, exporting a 3-minute 4K 60fps video, the performance of the two Harmony OS PCs is identical. The H.264 encoding performance is not much different from the Ryzen 7 HS. The H.265 encoding performance is slightly weaker. Allocating 8 of the 10 cores to the virtual machine, it scored 59 points in single core and 411 points in multi-core in Cinebench R15, with performance basically identical to the Matebook Pro. If we extrapolate the performance of the full 10 cores, the multi-core score should be similar to Apple's M1. In Geekbench 6, it achieved a single core score of 1,462 and a multi-core score of 7,109. In terms of translated performance, the Cinebench R23 score was 532 for single core and 3972 for multi-core. The R20 score was 192 for single core and 1,453 for multi-core. The multi-core performance in the virtual machine after translation is roughly equivalent to an i7-4850HQ. You can use this as a simple reference. Using AIDA64 for a single FPU stress test, HW Info monitoring shows the power consumption is around 40 watts and the SOC temperature is 77 to 79 degrees Celsius. The motherboard and cooling system of the device are mainly located in the upper half. The surface temperature is as shown. The human perceived noise is 40.5 decibels, which is almost at the level of ambient noise. It's this Harmony OS foldable computer is also equipped with a 74.69 watt hour battery. Our test, with the screen unfolded and playing online 4K video full screen, showed a battery life of 10 hours and 51 minutes, which is slightly shorter than the Matebook Pro with its smaller screen. Using the original 140 watt charger and turning on the turbo accelerated charging mode, our test showed it charged to 20% in 9 minutes, 50% in 27 minutes, 80% in 365 minutes, 46 minutes, and was fully charged in 78 minutes. If the Matebook Pro is the product that seeks stability among the two launch Harmony OS PCs, then the Matebook Fold Ultimate design is Huawei's show of muscle, a demonstration of its strong R&D capability. It might be the first sufficiently high-end, exquisite, and highly polished foldable computer. And this set of brand new hardware is also equipped with the newborn Harmony OS, breaking the boundaries between traditional phones, tablets, and computers, and exploring the ultimate answer for our next computer. All right, that's all for this video. If you think we did a good job, please give us a like, subscribe, and comment. Your support is very important to us. If you have anything else you want to know about the Matebook Fold Ultimate design, or want us to test, or if you have any thoughts to share, you're welcome to leave a comment in the comments section for discussion. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.